Hi, I'm Angela, and I'm a member of Team Lady Fowlers. Today I'm going to be talking about setting up a decoy spread and when and why we use it. Let's talk about the U and the J formations. The U or the J formations are the most popular decoy spread out there because it works well, it's simple to set up, and you don't need many decoys to do it. If you're a new hunter and only have access to a few decoys, this is a great spread to use. Geese will aim to land with the other geese on the field in the opening of a reasonable size. Forming a J or a U will allow for one landing zone. Geese will aim to land in the curve of the U or the J and help to funnel the geese towards the blinds. When setting up your decoy spread, you need to think about how and where you will set up the spread, which way to face the geese and where to place your blinds. First, we will talk about the importance of wind direction. Before you go out on your hunt, check the weather to see what the direction of the wind will be. Use the point time of 8 a.m. Our mentor showed us this and it rarely misses. Wind will often change between the setup time of 5 a.m. until shooting time, which is a half hour before sunrise. So we use 8 a.m. as a wind reference for morning hunts. Many smartphone weather apps have these wind details hour by hour. Wind direction is important when setting up your decoys for a few reasons. Your decoys should be, for the most part, facing into the wind or crosswind, but never tail to the wind. Wind coming from behind the goose will move their feathers in an unnatural fashion and could break their flight feathers. So they will typically stand facing the wind. Facing the wind will also help the geese to take off quickly if needed. The wind should always be at your back or a crosswind is okay too. This is because geese will land into the wind. Knowing the direction of the wind will help you decide what side of the field you wanna set up your spread. It's important to note that if the direction of the wind changes, the birds may land in a different area of the field and your spread will not look natural to the geese. Next, let's talk about the blind locations for the J or U formation. If the wind is blowing across the field from left to right and keeping in mind that a good kill shot is within 30 yards, the long section of the J should be about 40 to 50 yards long. The bottom of the J or the U is where you put your feeder decoys, with the long section being the active decoys. In the open curve area, place about three active decoys to simulate the birds that just landed there are walking in to feed. Whether you are using the J or the U, the blinds should always be placed within the decoys, within a kill shot range, and allows an open landing area for the geese. Depending on how you need to set up your decoys due to wind location, you can place your blinds along the side of the U or the J at the bend, but never block the landing area. As you can see, setting up a productive decoy spread isn't as hard as it looks. And if you're a new hunter, you can accomplish a small, effective spread with a few decoys. Just remember these tips and have a great hunting season. For more information on goose hunting, visit Team Lady Fowler's Facebook page or www.mwf.mb.ca.